What's up, guys? Tonight is the grand premiere, the opening premiere of Cam Story. I'm here, I'm here with the director, Drew Scott. Drew, what's going on with you, bro? I'm good. How you doing, Mr. Gunther? Yeah. Good. Good to see you. I'm a man of my word. I told you next time you, you was going to see you, your boy was going to be in the soon yeah. time. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> killing it, by the way, man. The and everything. He got it. I appreciate it, man. Speaking about killing it, congratulations. This is now the grand premiere. Everybody's been talking about it. How's it feel to see the people literally coming in at the moment? Oh man, it's just a real feeling, man. It's um, you know, a good feeling to see people actually come out. You know, we got hundreds of people that's going to be on on their way, so it's a good feeling, man. It's um, they're going to enjoy the movie as well. Yeah. What do you want these fans to take away from this experience? Um, something different, something outside of Youngstown. They don't see something like this every week, every month, every year. So they, I just want to give them experience of a bigger city of a uh, L.A. or New York, you know. So I definitely want them to have a, a good feeling about this. Yeah. We appreciate you so much for your time. I know you got a million other things that you got to be doing. Congratulations. Hope you guys have a great turnout. Thank you, Mr. Chris Gunther. Appreciate you, man. Kawhi Daniels here on the red carpet. Kawhi, what's going on with you, bro? Not much. How's it going? Good to see you, man. Good to see you too. Let's get right into it. What part did you play in Cam's story? Uh, writer, director, editor, behind the scenes stuff. Actually. The filmmaker, you know, we got the actors, producers, Drew Scott. Um, I'm behind the scenes. I do everything behind the scenes. I'm not in this movie right here. How much fun was it to create this project? Um, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of um, trial and error, ups and downs. You know, this this was not um, the easiest project. You know what I mean? This is me and Drew's first time working together, so. Uh, we had to figure out a rhythm and a sync for that, but I mean, once we got past that, I mean, it went pretty smooth. I mean, outside of, you know, like I said, we had some ups and downs, some was, you know, major, you know. Totally understandable. What is it that you want these fans to take away from this movie? Um, I'm just happy that everybody showed up, showed their support, and came out to support their friends and family because it's a lot of local people in the movie, and it's a lot of local establishments, businesses, a lot of local locations. So hopefully everybody can just take a little bit of something away from it and enjoy supporting their friends and family, you know? Absolutely. Appreciate you for your time, man. Appreciate you too, bro. Blair Floyd on the red carpet here at Cam Story Premiere. What's going on with you, bro? How you doing, man? Love them glasses, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Like I can see my reflection in it really good. I love it. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Let's get right into it, man. What uh, what part did you play in this movie? I play Kamara's love interest. Oh, the love interest. Yeah, I can't. You guys have to actually see the movie to see the pivotal role that I play in the movie. So it 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 it, it gets pretty twisty and turny in there. How like how much fun was it to create this project? Oh man, it was tons of fun. Um, I I actually was able to have myself in the project and my car <laughs> i love my vehicle so my car is a part of the movie as well so it was fun shooting with cam shooting with Kawhi daniels um shooting with drew it was fun it was just awesome it was awesome what is it that you want these fans to take away from this movie an experience an experience uh, a theatrical experience letting them know that youngstown can do it I agree. Appreciate it for your time, man. Yeah, thank you. T. Sly on the red carpet. What's going on with you, Sly? Man, you know what's going on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm great. I'm feeling great today. I'm excited to see this movie. I'm excited to see all my family, people. Youngstown really came out tonight. Like, This is how I can tell you excited. You the only actor that pulled up in a limo. Yeah. <laughs> see, it wasn't supposed to be like that, though. Like, my team was just in a rush to get in here. You know what I'm saying? We was all supposed to pull out like that. But, yeah, I got to come out in style. You know what I'm talking about? I got to come out in style. Yeah, brother understands all the way. Anyway, so how much fun was it to be a part of this project? Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. We we did everything that you could, you know what I'm saying? Imagine putting a movie in together as a team, man. I had it was so much fun, man. It was just a new experience for me, you know what I'm saying? Like this is my first time really main character in the movie. So, yeah. What is it that you want these fans to take away from this movie? What you mean by, by take away? Because you know sometimes when fans come out, they like it, they don't like it, they feel like this could have been better, or they, like, you know what I'm saying, love this part. So what is it that you want them to take away? I'm going to tell y'all this. This only part one. That's all I got to say. This only part one. It's two. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all about to see, man. Y'all going to enjoy this, though. Today, y'all going to enjoy this. This part one, though. We appreciate it for your time, bro. No, Jade, how you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? Amazing to see you. Love the tiara. Love the dress. Looks incredible. Couple quick questions here. How much fun was it to create this project? 
Oh, wow. I had so much fun. This was amazing. It really was. I mean, it was just all the work we put in timing. It was just amazing. It was great. What is it that you want these fans to take away from this movie? Well, I want them to see that this is going to be a hit, for real. It is. And I want them to know it's going to be, it's worth watching. They don't want to miss this. <laughs> Love it, Jay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. What's going on with you, ladies and gentlemen? Sitting here with Nick. Nick, what's going on with you, bro? Not much, man. How you doing? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too, bro. Nick, what is your role in this movie? Well, I actually played the store clerk whenever um, Cam and Chevy came into the store. Um, you know, I was behind the register, ringing out a customer, and then they came in and tried to stick up the store. So, you know, I kind of had to hold down the fort a little bit, you know what I'm saying? With, with a little bit of excessive force, you know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing drastic. How much fun was it to create this project? A lot, you know, um, because just becoming an actor, you know what I'm saying, it, it tests your creativity, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it kind of lets you see, you know what I'm saying, how far you can go with something, you know what I'm saying, and how serious and how real you can make something seem, you know, so it was it was a lot of fun doing it. It, it really was, man, you know, because I've been wanting to do this for a while, so being in my first like featured like film you know or as, as an extra you know what i'm saying kind of kind of was just you know mind blowing what's going on with you valentino how you doing how you doing how you doing chris how you feeling man you smell real good bro that's dope yeah, i appreciate it thank, thank you thank you thank you thank you that's good to know good to know <laughs> so what part did you play in cam story i was actually dj up north in cam story so uh my feature was a dj so you know i had uh more fun than everybody and uh enjoyed working with everybody i had a good time in terms of you being a DJ, are you glad that you were able just to play yourself? Uh, yes, I am, and I was just uh, glad to be a part of something special and um, something that'll go down to Youngstown history forever. Appreciate you for your time, bro. Yes, sir, thank you very much. I don't really need a big introduction because this is pops to me, but ladies and gentlemen, Cam, Cam, how you doing? Doing great, sir. That's the first time I ever called you Cam. It didn't feel right, you know? It's all right. <laughs> so... So how much fun was it for you to be a part of this role as an extra? Can you imagine making a movie in Youngstown? Nah. This is outstanding, man. It's the best thing could ever happen in our town. How much fun do you feel that movies like this, in terms of bringing, bringing people together, how much fun do you think it can be to create projects like this? I think we, if we had a studio, it would be even better because then we have more creativity. So right now, we're getting what we get and we're able to support and take care of and love our people. I agree, appreciate you for your time, Pops. Thanks, no problem, man. Love Stanley you. Brown, ladies and gentlemen, on the red carpet. Mr. Brown, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, pretty good, man. I'm proud of my brother, uh, Drew, for producing this movie and putting me in it. <laughs> you know, even though I just got small part, I played a part of Melvin. <laughs> so how much fun was it to play Melvin? It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. That sounds pretty amazing. What is it that you want these fans to take away from all of this? Well, I guess to um, use good judgment in what you do in life. You know, you might have a lot of money and you mistreat people and it'll come back on you. Karma is, you know what it is. All the way, all the way, Mel. Thank you so much for your time, Melvin. All right, all right, all right. On the red carpet with me right now, we got Jazz. Jazz, what's going on? What's up with you, Chris, man? I'm low key jealous that you was in Florida and I was in Ohio. Look, hey, man, I had to I had to go down there. It was Art Basel, you know what I'm saying? I had a performance. I had to handle business, man. I had to handle business. That's it. Yeah, speak about handling business. You actually are featured in Cam's story. How much fun was it to be featured? I mean, just to be in a in a movie in general, and the fact that it's a local movie, it was a dope ass experience. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to cuss, but I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. You get raw and real over here. What is it that you want the fans to take away from the movie? Um, for real, man, just. Just, just the, the, the whole, the story's deep, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, this, this could be anybody's life, you know what I mean? It's a lot of this type of stuff going on around here, so it's, it's going to be a dope film, though. If y'all, I don't know, y'all seen the trailer and everything, it's, it's going to be a dope film. What's going on, guys? Lex with me on the red carpet. What's going on with you, bro? What's going on, brother? How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you, man. Good, good to be here. You're actually directing, not this one, but T-Street, correct? T-Street T -Street dropping next year. We're very excited for the project. Uh, me and uh, Antonio are doing some fine work on the project. Y'all guys are going to be very shocked. The trailer is going to be shown in here tonight. How much fun was it to be a part of that project? Very fun. I love working with the blood. Antonio with me on the red carpet. What's going on with you, bro? I'm good. I'm good. All the way from Brooklyn, New York. I'm out here in Ohio, man. 
I love it, man. You are actually one of, one of the directors for the film T Street. How much fun was it to put that project together? Oh, it's a big challenge, and it's really fun. I mean, I'm working with a lot of talented people. I mean, what we putting together is different, something special. Y'all ain't y'all y'all gonna be in the. It's, it's cool, man. I don't want to see a lot. It's, Y'all gonna see the trailer tonight, though. It, the trailer is, is off the chain. It's really good. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the red carpet. Now I'm chopping it up with Teresa. Teresa, what's going on with you? Hey. It's like my first time seeing you in years. So. I know. It's been a long time. <laughs> Ursuline. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a conversation for a different day. You're actually featured, I believe, in T Street? Yep. When's it coming out? Or do you know when it's coming out? We don't know exactly when it's coming out, but it's coming soon, and it's going to be a preview of it on the trailer on this <laughs> cam story. You definitely see it. How much fun was it to uh, work on T Street? It was very exciting. It was very exciting. Um, I loved it. It's a different type of energy. It's a different type of like experience. It's just crazy. I'm now featured with Bree. Bree is the late girlfriend of the late Chris. Bree, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? How great does it feel, even though he's not physically here, to know that he will forever be remembered for features? Um, it's great because he loved doing stuff like this. He would have loved this. He liked attention. He's an entertainer. Yeah, he definitely was. I met him one time and I'm like, he's very energetic, even though he isn't physically here. How proud does this make you as the woman that was always by his side to see that he's featured and everybody's going to love it? Very proud, especially that it's on a big screen. Yeah, I'm very proud. I am now featured with Cashmere. Cashmere is in the upcoming film T Street Cash. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Even though tonight is about Cam's story, how excited are you that a preview of T Street is going to be at the end? Very excited. Um, I can't wait. And I want all of you guys, especially you, to be there. Yeah. <laughs> Only if you knew how many times people tell me that. How great did it feel to even be a part of that story? Mm, it was um, monumental for me. It was something that one of the biggest things that I've ever did in my life outside of having children. So it was it's <sighs> unexplainable. Unexplainable. It's, it was fun. It's fun. It was fun. Fun. So, yeah.